Earlier today, MPs braved the dire weather for a spot of cricket outside Westminster. But forget any ideas of a village green. This is cage cricket. It's a new form of a game which it's hoped will appeal to city kids. Joining us is former England captain Sir Ian Bothan and Stuart Robertson, who is the brains behind the 2020 format of the game. OK, well, Stuart, we have to start with you. Explain to us exactly what cage cricket is. So cage cricket is a form of the game played by six individuals in a confined space. And that's it in a nutshell. It's a street level version of the game um, designed to get kids um, picking up a bat and a ball and playing in their own multi-use games area typically. There are 12,500 of these moogers and people will have seen them with a big steel cage around it in the middle of a city centre, often used for basketball or football. And the guys who came up with the idea for cage cricket have designed a game of cricket to fit into that space. So it lasts less than an hour and the context is that all six of you, you bowl against each other five times, you field against everyone in every position, you bat against all the other five bowlers as well. So it's a really democratic way of playing the game, involves all the participants all of the time. There's no being out first ball and then sitting out for two hours whilst the rest of the team carry on with the game around you. Uh, and it's just a fantastic and easy way to get kids and young people playing cricket in the I mean, it doesn't matter getting out at all. Yes, you lose 40 runs, so you're scoring runs quite quickly. Score by hitting the walls of the confined space in 10s, 20s, 40s. And if you're out, you lose 40 runs. But interestingly, if you're out bowled, the bowler takes 40 runs as well. So you can score bowling, fielding and batting. You're with this. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm <coughs> keeping up just about um, three and both of you played it today. What did you make of it? A lot of MPs down there in Westminster playing well, with you as well. I didn't play it. Uh, I was down there uh, watching it. it was, I've been involved since the start, mm. pretty much. And uh, we're trying to just make it open. Uh, people come along, enjoy it. We had the first lot of guys in there. It was quite remarkable. The two of the guys had never played cricket before, of any way, shape, or form, before in their lives. And within 15 minutes, we had to drag them off. They wanted to stay on there. They thought it was great. And, and that's what it's about, really. It's just giving people an opportunity. It's, it's not uh, taking on cricket in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's, it's a very raw. Uh, base level. Because that's it, been the criticism, hasn't it? I mean, I mean, Adam, I know you find cricket complicated. It's making it more accessible because people do think it's a really long game, it's really complicated. And also as well, you know, if you look at the current England side, not many of those players went to state schools. So this is a way of making it more accessible. Yeah, the, the nice thing is, the problem with children is a lot of kids have this preconceived idea to play cricket, I need 21 mates, I need two umpires, I need a big playing area, and I might feel at fine leg, I might not bowl and I might get out first ball. Well, that's been a great day. And it costs the equipment, it's expensive. Here, there are no expenses with the cage cricket, or very little. And the other thing is, apart from you're continuously in the game, you also umpire the game. So when you're in the red zone, you're not just fielding, but you're actually umpiring. So it, it's a bit of discipline in there as well. And that's the thing that struck me is I thought, oh, there'd be some skullduggery here. People will you know, try and stuff each other and mark against them, but it doesn't work because the other five get their chance. It's a softball, is that right? Is it? It's a softball. It's hard enough that, that you have to know what you're doing a little bit. You know, you have to sort of catch the right way, but it's certainly not going to do any damage. I mean, uh, <coughs> you, I mean you, you developed 2020, which, of course, professionals play. Now, any chance you think we'll actually see professionals playing cage cricket? I don't see why not at all. I really don't. Uh, it's fast, it's furious, uh, it's plain and confined. It's easy to, for people to watch it in an arena. If it gets to that level, but that's a long way down the line. At the moment, we're concentrating on the inner cities. And the other nice thing about it is the kids score. So at the end of the day, they get their Blackberry or their iPad, uh, phone out, iPad, and they put their score in. And that's registered. And then they get a feedback. And the feedback might be that you're number two in uh, Westminster, but uh, in London, you're number 38. And in the UK, you're number 238 at the moment. So, so it's you, always changing. Is this, is this a way of getting sport to re-engage the disengaged youth that we've been hearing so much about since um, those riots over the summer? I mean, is sport the key? Well, I think sport breaks more, down more barriers than politicians ever will do. Because I think there's, there's, no, uh, there's, there's a level playing field. You go out there and you compete against each other. And I think that's what makes it so wonderful. And, and you can get kids from any walk, any race, go out there and play sport. And that's what it's about, is getting them off the streets. Where do you want your kids? Do you want them on street corners, walking the streets, that gang culture that's here in the country? Or do you want them, what's wrong with them using one of these multi-games areas, which aren't used very often?
Okay, we will uh, leave it there. I'll we'll take some more, more images of people playing cricket in the rain. That's good to see people playing cricket in the rain. You can do that in a moment. <laughs> yeah. as well. It's not going not to spoil it for us. Thanks very much.